Well, guys, now we understood what exactly product rule and quotient rule is. Now let's work on a couple of problems based on product rule and we'll go ahead with quotient rule a little later. But I'll tell you one thing, you need to work out problems yourself. If at all you can work these problems yourself, it means you're good. You got the concept, work them out. If you're not getting it, then uh, watch the video. Otherwise, pause it, take a paper and a pen and try working out yourself. You can be the best teacher for yourself. Trust me. All right, let's see. Let's work on this guy. Uh, I have the first question which says y is equal to x squared into sine x. That's what I have. Right, so I can see that there are two functions. So we go with the belting rule or the product rule. So how do I do that? dy by dx is equal to, I'll keep the first guy here and differentiate the other person. All right, the other function basically here. Plus, I keep the second function and differentiate the first guy. That's it. All right, differentiation of x squared. So what happens here? That is x squared in a cos x plus sine x. How do you differentiate x squared? 2x. So here, I'm differentiating sine x. I know the formula. x squared, that is 2x into x, uh, 2x to the power 2 minus 1, which is 2x. So again, we can see that we're differentiating only one function. Keep that in mind. Throughout differentiation, we will talk on the same lines. All right? All right. Let's go with the second one y is equal to 1 plus x squared plus 3x and uh, sine inverse of x. Now I can see that this whole thing can be taken as one function. This guy is another function. There are two guys now. So I'll tell, let's say this guy is here and I'm differentiating who? Sine inverse of x. All right. So if I take second guy sine inverse of x and differentiate who? The first function. So 1 plus x squared plus 3x that's all about it all right now here i don't have any differentiation sign here so i'll write 1 plus x squared plus 3x same as that and how to differentiate sign of x that is a formula very simple that is 1 by root of 1 minus x squared plus sine inverse of x differentiate this guy so difference of 1 is 0 x squared is 2x 3x is 3 so i, I don't have to write this so 2x plus 3 is what i have that's your answer very simple right let's go with the next one it says uh, x power 4 into 5x squared plus 6 that is y so dy by dx is what i can take the first function to be what x power 4 so x power 4 you know differentiation of this guy that is 5x squared plus 6 plus 5x squared plus 6 into d by dx of x power 4 Let's see what do you get x power 4 differentiate this that is 10 x plus 6 plus difference of 6 is 0 is gone plus 5x squared plus 6 into differentiation of x power 4 what is that 4x cubed that's all about it all right you can in fact multiply this and uh, see what you get that is uh, x power 5 and you have a 10 x power 5 plus if i open the brackets you'll get 20 x to the power 6 uh, yeah 5 plus 24 x cube okay, that's the answer right can i still solve this i can see that i can add these together that is 30 x part 5 plus 24 x cube well, that's your answer all right simple as that i'm just using the basic formulas and the product rule to separate two functions which we are getting together that's it all right you practice this <coughs> stop the video and try working it yourself if you're still not getting you can see the board and do it right the next thing is uh, y is equal to e power x in log x so how do you work with this guy dy by dx would be what first function z power x differentiate this guy that is d by d by dx of log x plus log x into d by dx of e power x so what do you get so this guy is e power x 1 by x plus log x into e power x that's it very simple right next guy he says uh the fifth question is y is equal to x and a log x so what happens to this guy first function remains like that d by dx of log x plus log x into d by dx of the first function see yep. the first guy is here belt the second guy that is one by x plus second guy is here the belt the first guy is 1. Your answer is 1 plus log x. Very simple. I hope you're getting this. 
I still suggest you guys to stop the video and work the problems yourself and in fact take more problems from your textbooks and try to work them all right so let's say uh, go with the next one that is root of x and sine x minus cos x so I'll take this as the first guy and the whole thing as the second guy two functions only <clears throat> see what happens now let's say dy by dx let's say this guy is y so it goes like I keep the first function like that only and differentiate this whole thing I take this whole thing as what the second function right then plus write the second function that is sine x minus cos x into d by dx of the first function that is root x see what you get so the guy goes like root x and differentiation of sine is what from there cos x minus differentiation of cos x what minus sine x be careful here and put a bracket and you have a plus sign you have a sine x minus cos x how do you differentiate this guy 1 by 2 root x you can see in the whole all the problems what we did here we are actually differentiating only one function this process is to separate them all right keep that in mind we keep talking on this all right <clears throat> what do you have here i have root x in cos x plus sin x plus sin x minus cos x by 2 root x and that's all about it that's your answer right simple problems let's go with the next one the last one here this i can see that there are two functions together and it's a product rule in both of them so let's see it goes like x cube into e power x plus x squared into log x plus one so here itself i have two functions right here also i have two functions so I, I got to use a product rule here separately and here separately. It goes like this. If I do dy by dx, so it goes like d by dx of these two guys, that is x cubed into e power x, plus d by dx of x squared into log x, right? Plus d by dx of 1. So see, if I have a plus sign, the d by, uh, d by dx sign goes to everyone. So it bent. Now I can see that these guys are together. So what happens here? I will use product rule x cube into d by dx of e power x plus e power x into d by dx of x cube that's it so what about this guys again two functions u and v so can I write x squared into d by dx of log x plus log x into d by dx of x squared and differentiation of 1 is n over 0 so what happens now I can see this x cube into differentiation of e power x is what e power x only plus e power x differentiation of x cube is what 3x squared plus x squared differentiation of log x is 1 by x plus log x differentiation of x squared is 2x plus 0 that's all about it can i do something here yes this remains the same this also remains the same e power x into 3x squared I can cancel one of these guys, I'll get x, I can answer, uh, that's it, that is log x plus log x into 2x, and that's your answer. I hope you get this, we did so many problems, we were pretty fast, but you can stop the videos and work it out yourself, try doing it without seeing. If you're done, fine, if not, watch the video and see the steps, alright?